Good morning. Welcome to chapel this morning. Thanks for joining us. I am Pastor Yeager of Christ Lutheran Church and School. And as we continue our chapels uh, this morning, we'll start on our hymnal, page 296. And if you will join me on page 296, we'll begin with the service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, and do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon. I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. Yeah, 
Yeah, they needed Jesus. And guess who showed up? Guess who showed up in the midst of their fears and worries? That's right. Jesus. Jesus came to give his disciples comfort. And this comfort came to his disciples in the words, peace be with you. Or as you've heard Pastor Measel and I say sometimes, I forgive you. That's right. Jesus came to his disciples to comfort them and remind them that they have nothing to be afraid of because Christ has given them peace with God. And he's brought, and he's brought this peace through forgiveness. And he's come to remind them that God will be with them always. That's true for you today. Jesus comes today in order to give you that same comfort he gave to his disciples. So that you don't have to be afraid anymore. If you're stuck or when you're facing your fears, you don't have to be afraid because Christ is risen. He is raised from the dead and God will never abandon you. So when you get scared, when you're all alone in a dark place, remember that God will be with you always. And so, peace be with you guys. I pray that I will get to see you soon so that I can bring you, and that Pastor Measle can bring you this same comfort face to face. But until then, know that Pastor Measle and I are always praying for you guys. And also, that is Mr. Webb, the principal. We're always praying for you guys continually. We're keeping you in our prayers. And so peace be with you guys, and enjoy. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We continue with the hymn.
we receive the eternal glory you won for us. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection from the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue with our concluding prayer. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, at this hour we walk upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms to embrace the world in your death. Grant that all people on earth may look upon you and see their salvation. For your mercy's sake we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty 